Hi, my name is Lucy and this is my dog Molly. I've got a life-threatening and life-limiting condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I was 14 and uh, just my joints started hurting and then they started dislocating and then my gut started to go wrong. I lost the ability to swallow and then I lost the ability to eat completely and then I was fed straight into my stomach, then into my small bowel and now straight into my heart. I was very active. I used to ride most days of the week and would be out with the dogs every day and it, yeah, it was good, life was good. Molly, I came into my life at a time when I really needed something to pick me up. I didn't think my life had any purpose anymore, I just existed rather than lived. I just, I didn't see the point and I was struggling to get through each day because I didn't have a reason to fight. Well, we lost our last dog, Ben, in February last year and we were looking for another dog and when they put Molly on my lap, she walked straight up my chest and licked my face. So it was, I think she chose me. For the first time I actually felt that like I had a reason to do things because I'd, lo I'd lost all momentum. She gave me the, the uh, strength, I suppose, to keep getting up and pushing myself and even like, achieving things that I never thought I would achieve. Eel, good girl. For the first time in six years I've been out on my own and that's just completely completely just amazing for me. They've got a different kind of appreciation for life, don't they? Yeah. People were afraid of saying the wrong thing, so it's quite difficult for them to break that barrier between being disabled and being able-bodied. But then Molly came along and people started talking to me. You know, it's, I feel part of the community again, because before I didn't, I didn't feel like I was really in the community. I just existed rather than lived. Oh yeah, she's very playful. Always has been. She's very, very calm with me. She knows when I'm not well. She knows when I am tired or if something's going on, she keeps checking on me. And if we're out on a walk on her own and I need to lay my chair back, she'll just sit there calmly and wait for me while I get my blood pressure back and I get myself together again and then we carry on. I've always been into photography. I've always been the one that takes photographs and I'm always the one behind the camera. Hi. Molly, what's this? Even if there's nothing to photograph, there's always Molly. Molly! She's the reason that I am who I am, really. She gives me the confidence to do what I do. She's just perfect, really. She, she's a happy little girl. She's always on the go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she is the light of my life. 